Mm. We're talking footy. We are. We're talking Bulldogs. One triple three five three. We put it out the Bulldogs fans because James Hooper, part of the Triple M NRL fan uh, family, you can hear him every Sunday on the uh, Sunday Sin Bin with Kenty and Maroon and Gordy, came out and said this about the Bulldogs coach's future. Dean Pay's future has been put on the radar this week and there's been further meetings today between Lynn Anderson, uh, Andrew Hill, who's the CEO, uh, other people at the football department as well, and Dean Pay. And it's been outlined in no uncertain terms that Dean needs a, a strong performance from the team Monday and that he's facing an uphill battle to retain his position. Well, yeah, it's, that's hard to believe. I mean, this bloke, he has really been handed a poison chalice, to be honest. Um, in his first year, his star player has well, his star player Kieran Foran hasn't hardly played while he's been coach. Mm-hmm. Then last year he had the WhatsApp drama with Dylan Napa, one of his star recruits. Mm-hmm. Then this year he's had the deregistration of arguably his best player Corey Harawiri Nora and Jade Nockenball. I want to see him have a year with the roster he wants. How about the board backing him then? How about the board saying, Dino, man, we've got this these young kids that we've got together. We've got you know. We know we're probably not going to win a comp in the next two or three years, but if you stick with us, like put it back on him, stick with us. You're an ex-legend of the club. Stick with us. We promise you in two or three years' time, we're going to get at least another two or three marquee players, and we promise you this, that we'll be in the running to win a comp. If they don't win on Monday, who are they going to bring in to replace him? Good question. Who's going to take that job when that's the board saying, oh, win or else, and they're the ones who are recruiting these blokes? Come on. Come on, please. That's insulting of a of a legend of our game. It really is. I, I, I take offence to the fact that you're putting such a, a black cloud over Dean Pay's head. It's, it makes me really angry. Does that, is that going to make him coach any no, better? No. <laughs> it's not going to make him have three internationals overnight. He hasn't got the, the cattle. Andrew in Campbelltown. Uh, Andrew, the future of Dean Pay at the club, depending on Monday's game. How do you feel about that? Oh, I depend on Monday. I'm, I'm not even worried about this season full stop, actually. I think he should stay. And uh, the reason I think he should stay is he's just had only had a couple of years there, and they, he was given a roster, which is there's been mayhem. They've, they've lost players, they've mm-hmm. lost all sorts of stuff since then. It's changed a lot, and and they've got no money to work with. The club almost went broke, but um, managed they managed to stay out of that. So yeah, yeah he's yeah. Inher- he's inherited a roster that it's not his doing. Uh, if when he inherits a roster that you say to him as a board, are you happy with this roster? When he says I, I couldn't be happier. Okay, you've got two years. You've got two years to get us to the top four with it. That's fair enough, I think. Mm. If he doesn't, then we'll say, well, that's in your contract. If you don't get us to the top four in two years, then it's time to go. But th- come on, come on. Very strong words from MG on Dean Pay's future. It's a wait and see. It's going to be a big game either way this Monday between the Dragons and the Bulldogs. You can hear that one right here. Put it this way. The Dogs love him. The Bulldog players love him. They'll come out of, that, out of the kennel barking their ass off and, and win for him.